Hey guys, it's Bren from Kindred Acres Homestead. And a while ago, not that long ago actually, I posted a picture of this pepper plant. And it was struggling because when I planted this area, I used a couple handfuls of some bad compost in the area that had gone anaerobic. It was compost I pulled from the chicken yard that had been sitting in a bucket. It got rained on, it was sitting in a bucket of water. I poured the water out and I was silly enough to just go ahead and use the compost anyway, knowing good and well I shouldn't have because it was sat in there too long. And it went anaerobic. So the plants started to suffer. The chard you can see is speckled. It's being eaten, not much, but it is getting holes in it where my chard usually doesn't get eaten. And the pepper was probably the worst of it all. But you can see that it's dropped its bad leaves and it's coming out with a new flush of very nice leaves. I've been treating this area almost every other day with uh, a compost extract and I, I gave it some labs solution and a little bit of kelp to kind of help the soil biology along after putting some bad compost in there. I had to rework the area with some good stuff. And man, I'm so impressed with how quick it's recovering. And um, yeah, I'm even seeing some new growth come on on the, um, on the chard that's looking much better. And um, even the dill just like shot up new growth. And so um, it's amazing what soil biology does and what poor soil biology or the bad stuff in your soil will do too. So it's incredible. I'm expecting to see some really great results. I mean, sure, I could have just pulled the plant and started again, but the, the problem was that no matter what I put in that area, that whole, this whole section would have been sick and sad. I needed to rework the soil and the plant totally recovered. So um, yeah, that just goes to tell you, think about whenever you have an issue with your plants, don't think topically, don't think what's above ground, think about what's below ground first. First and foremost, because 99% of the times, disease, fungal outbreaks, pest issues, it has to do with what's below ground because if the plant isn't strong enough and doesn't have everything it needs and it doesn't have its defenses, it, it's not strong because of the, the soil ecology, biology, then you're gonna have issues. You're gonna be a lot more susceptible to pest pressure, to disease, to fungal outbreaks, etc. So I hope this inspires you um, to think about that with your garden and you don't need store-bought fertilizers you really don't you know the the growth on this stuff has been incredible to watch the changes happen with just the right soil biology so anyway I just wanted to share that I'm super excited about that and really happy that I took the time to work the soil and yeah it took some time and effort but you know what now it's good to go for a very long time as long as I just keep keep at it and don't put more bad compost then we're good so thanks for checking it out with lots of love Brand from Kindred Acres